So a request that has come from a politician most high, and I'm just going to place it out there so that you get I'm not going to the lie, and I'm not mentally unwell, and I'm not doing anything that's not swell, but is the request of what does it mean to be a metaphysicist or a pagan? And I'm not sure if you had ist on that or not. But the reality is I am a person that is practicing as a pagan. And my faith as a pagan is based on the International Federation of Paganism. And basically, I probably said that organization's name wrong, but the association is a marvelous little website from England that talks about the main principles of their faith. And it totally aligns with who I am as a person of faith and spirituality. But the question that was raised was, how do you utilize the tools that you use with daily to make decisions in your life? So what I believe in is pretty straightforward. I believe in a divine heavenly father and mother who created basically the world and all of the saints. And around that, we are taught based on the principles of old about the Trinity. And the Trinity represents, of course, you and me along with God, but in the sidelines of our life are the angels that have been authorized and assigned by Mother and Father God. And I am someone who accesses, with permission of God, my angels every day. I know that my marvelous angel has departed me amongst the 45 or 50 that I have presently around me, but some of the key angels, one of the key angels has left me and told me so to go stand next to my love across the state line. Now, if I tell you that, you don't want to believe me, but I have to tell you, then why do you believe in the Bible? Why do you believe in the Quran? Because there are jinn in the Quran that are basically the representation of angels, and we have light angels and dark angels, but the question that was raised was, how do you access them? I am an old-fashioned um, dowser, and it was a part of American society to use dowsing which got some good and bad notoriety um, for finding fault lines, finding oil, and finding gas and other types of things that could cause the earth to spoil. But we need to know about those places and those spaces because they can help us or harm us in our families and in our land um, and property. But as a part of that, a spirituality came out of that in that dowsing can help you to find answers to your conundrums or your situations in life. So as a devout dowser and a pendulum professor, and what I prefer to call my tools as a faith fob, and I've actually marketed faith fobs underneath my brand, and I probably should add that on to some of the things and brand names that I've created for my programs and whatnot, and underneath Archangel Advocate and Angels Around Us, which reminds me I have to add that, that openly I'm not the only people who use that coinage of term, but the truth is when I use my tools, I feel much closer to God.